Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today another beautiful, awesome Windows 10 with MDT video. So this video, a lot of you guys have been requesting it, and I actually took the time and did it for you guys. I know it took me a while, but I'm sorry. Uh, so it's all about customizing your start menu within Windows 10 and deploying it uh, within your MDT. I have a Windows 10 Enterprise Edition machine. And this is my start menu. This is basically the generic one that we get when we deploy an operating system. You get two columns, and within the two columns, you get all this gibberish stuff, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna start, uh, you know, removing stuff. So let's remove this entire column right here. I wanna remove all this, and I, let's shrink it down to that. And let's, uh, let's resize this to small. That's too small, so let's resize it to medium. Okay, cool. And we could just do it like that. Let's just put this to the bottom right here. So right now I customize my start menu. So let's capture that start menu. So uh, I'm going to open up my Fire Explorer. And within my Fire Explorer, we're going to go to this PC. And I want to go to the C drive. Because I want to show you guys I don't have... I don't have anything here. It's the same the same that you would normally get when you deploy an operating system. And the only reason that I'm showing this is because I'm going to be creating a file here and a folder. So let's right click on our start menu. And let's do a command prompt. With we're going to click yes on the user account control. And what we need to do is uh, mkdr uh, c backslash layout. So I'm creating a folder called layout. Oh, yeah, I know I could basically go inside the C drive and right click on it and create a folder there. But I'm a geeky guy. I'm technical. You know that. So let's hit enter. And as you can see, our layout folder is there, popped up. Now, next thing that we need to do to capture this start menu is to get into PowerShell. So within your command prompt, just type in PowerShell. The way that you know that you're inside PowerShell is that you're going to see PS right next to the C Windows System 32 uh, path. So let's double click on the layout folder. And as you can see, I have nothing in there. I don't want to pull any magic tricks on you guys. I just want to show you guys what's really happening, all right? Uh, and from here, what we're going to do is uh, export dash start layout space dash path which is the attribute and c colon this is where we're going to drop it layout backslash and then we're going to give it a name so i'm going to call it layout with a capital l modification now you guys call it whatever you want okay it's up to you but the, the layout modification dot xml uh, file is being used within my mdt environment which i'm going to show you guys i'm going to hit enter Okay, so it's done. Awesome. And this is the file. This is the magical file of our customization within Windows 10, our start menu. So I'm going to take this file. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to copy. And I'm going to go back to this PC. And I'm going to go to my share. So within my share, you already see a layout uh, modification. I put an underscore old because that's the old one. Again, I was testing all this stuff out. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to basically paste it in here. I want you guys to keep in mind, this is a quick tip before we continue. If you guys are deploying Windows Enterprise um, inside your environment, make sure that your reference machine is a Windows Enterprise and you're capturing that XML file. If you're doing, if you're deploying Windows 10 Professional, make sure that your reference machine that you're capturing the start menu layout is a Windows 10 Professional. Okay, so we're done with this reference machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of PowerShell. Exit out of command prompt, and I'm just going to shut it down. So I'm going to right-click. Again, I'm doing everything as a virtual machine. I'm going to right-click, and I'm just going to power this guy off. So I'm going to power this virtual machine down, and I'm just going to close this up. And now we're going to go inside my MDT. So within my MDT, I already created the task sequence. Hopefully, you guys know how to create a task sequence. I gave it a name of Windows 10 x64 Start Menu Customization TS, and the ID is Windows 10 Start Menu. And it's a basic task sequence. It's basically pushing out the client and pushing out what we need. So let's double click on it, and let's go to Task Sequence. Within Task Sequence, I went inside my custom task because this is where I'm pushing everything out, and I created four nodes. My first node is the copy the layout temp. I'm running it as a command line. And the command line basically says you're going to my, my script folder. And I have a folder inside my script folder called btnhd. And within there, I have another folder called start layout. I have my layout modification file, and it's going to be dropped inside the Windows tent folder. So let's do that now. Because again, we capture something together. So let's go to C drive. Actually, let's go back and let's go into that file share. There it goes. And this is the one that we created. And I'm going to right click and copy. Let's go back, go to C. 
my deployment share, scripts, BTNHD. This is where I keep all my customization stuff and start menu. So this is the one that's pointing now. And what you're going to do is a underscore old two. And I'm going to drop it in here. Paste. All right. That's the one that we did together. So let's go back into our task sequence. So this command line basically takes that XML file and it drops it locally into your deployed machine inside the Windows 10 folder. Again, you guys can customize it whatever way you want. Second thing that I'm doing, uh, I am pushing out a restart computer, right? Once it copies it, I want you to restart the machine. And now here comes the magic. We're going to add an additional PowerShell script command. And the PowerShell script command is actually going to uh, run the import command. Remember, we did the export start layout. Now we need to run the import start layout. So this is what this is doing right here. I created a PowerShell script. The PowerShell script is basically the import command. So let's go in here and I dropped it inside my start menu. So let's right click on this and let's edit. And as you can see, it's saying import to start layout, right? Remember we did the export. Now we're doing import. We're doing an attribute of layout path. The location of the XML, again, we dropped it inside our Windows 10 folder. Uh, we're doing another attribute amount path environment system drive. So that basically means whoever logs into this machine is going to get the customization start menu that we did together. Close all this up. And the last thing that we did, uh, well, the last thing that I did, because I'm, I want to show you guys that this actually worked, is I created a local user. I, call the, I created a user called BTNHD with no password to log me in because I want to show you guys that the start menu works. For some reason, when the deployment finishes, uh, it's going to leave you inside the administrative account, right? But the start menu doesn't change. It only changes or you see the changes when you log into another account. So once you do all that, I'm going to click OK. Uh, I'm going to right click, update the deployment. I'm going to click finish. Awesome. I'm going to minimize my VM workstation. I'm going to go inside my computer. I'm going to go to my D drive. I'm going to go to VMs and we're going to create a folder. So we're going to go to BJ dash start uh, menu. Right. Double click on that and I'm going to copy that path. Awesome. So let's go back into my VMware and let's go to file new virtual machine. Right. Brand new container. Right. We're doing it together. We're going to push out this task sequence to see if it works. Click on next. I'm pushing out Windows 1064 next. Uh, I'm going to push it here and the virtual machine is going to be called this. Awesome. We're going to click on next. Uh, let's give it something real small. 20 gigs is okay. Click on next and click finish. Awesome. So what we're going to do now is we're going to power the virtual machine and I'm going to click F12 like a madman <laughs> so I could get into our pixie boot environment because you know I love pushing out uh, all my operating systems with MDT using pixie and it's a 64 bit environment. So let's hit enter. All right, guys, so now we are at the section that we need to pick our task sequence. And our task sequence is right here. It's the Windows 10 X64 Start Menu Customization Task Sequence. So let's click on that. And we're going to click on Next. And I have this deployment fully automated. And we're just going to leave it be. And I catch you guys when we are inside our desktop to see how our customization start menu looks. All right, guys, so our deployment is completed. Awesome, finally. So let's uh, click on the Start Menu. And again, like I told you guys before, I'm logged in as an administrator, but the template or the customization of the start menu doesn't show up. So what we're going to do is click here and we are going to sign out. Oh, so and from here, as you guys saw, look, I have the BTN HD, which I added within my custom task to create a local account. So let's log into this account. Actually, let's sign out again. I created a custom task to create a local account and we're going to sign in. Again, I, I didn't give it a password. And once we log in into this local account or this new account, our custom start menu should show up. All right, guys, so that we already logged in into our uh, account, our BTN HD account. And let's click on the start menu. And as you can see, it's not perfect, but my customized start menu is there. How awesome is that? Uh, again, it's not perfect. I'm actually happy about this, but again, you guys can basically customize it even more. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Leave comments right below. Most likely I should post up a link at the description site, giving you all the notes that, I, you know, all the commands and all that stuff that I did throughout the video. If I don't leave a comment right below, harass me. Hey, say, Hey, Bernardo, you haven't posted up the link yet. I would try to get it up there 
as fast as possible. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.